You know, Shannon Hospital is one of the only major hospitals within 100 miles. And it was very important to us to show that you didn't need to go to a larger metropolitan area to get your care, that we provided excellent care here in San Angelo. Uh, and so this was part of that. We were wanting to be reviewed by SRC, which is the Surgical Review Corporation. They are a non-for-profit organization that travels all across the United States, very concerned about patient safety and organizations. They came in to review Shannon Hospital for completely independent review. Center of Excellence is based on a number of, of points. One, the first is you have to show the case volume to show that you are truly proficient. It was complication rates, both morbidity and mortality and readmissions to the hospital and all of those various qualifiers that have been watched for years for all cases. So the benefits of robotic surgery include smaller incisions, minimally invasive, uh, with a lot less pain, less chance of infection, and that equates to less pain medicine used after surgery and faster recovery. So those are a lot of the reasons why we've kind of adopted minimally invasive and then robotic surgery. I get better results. I have better visualization. I have better identification of anatomy. If I operate on a hysterectomy in the morning, the odds are 90%, I think I calculated last, that they'll go home that day. I had in all the years, 30 plus years of doing vaginal hysterectomies, I can think of two that went home same day. I think the technology is necessary primarily because it allows us to do things that although we could do, we're doing them better. Robotics in San Angelo started around 2013, and up to date, we've performed about 8,300 surgeries at this point. Uh, and that's encompassed about 14 different robotic surgeons that we have in the different specialties. So once the patient's brought into the room, after they're put to sleep, we hook the robot up to the patient, the surgeon breaks scrub, and they sit down at the console. Uh, and when he puts his head inside the console, he can see through a wonderful 3D camera and have much better visualization than laparoscopic or even open a lot of times uh, because it's magnified. And uh, he can sit there in the console and operate with the controls and again, accomplish something with really small incisions that normally we couldn't do. By us being certified, it means that here we are in our little town of 100,000, yet we're providing what we advertise, excellent care. That we are doing what is best for our patients, that we are returning our patients to the quality of life that they wish to return to. Uh, we're the only hospital in West Texas that has earned that distinction, especially one of our size. The nearest hospital is within about 210 miles, and we're of a very few select hospitals in the entire state of Texas, actually, uh, that has earned that distinction. So we're very happy about that. As you look at the expansion, there's obviously going to be continued expansion in the fields that it's already being used in. So the future for robotics in San Angelo is only getting better. We're trying to get an additional robot on top of our five. Eventually, uh, we're bringing in further robotic surgeons for different specialties. Uh, everybody's being trained in robotics uh, out of residency now. And so those surgeons are gonna be coming to San Angelo uh, and they'd like to have a robot to operate on. So I think the growth is only gonna be exponential. This is just another tool that allows us to do something better, in my opinion, than how we were doing it before. It makes a tremendous difference in mine and my patients' lives. So I'm from San Angelo. It was very important to me to be able to come back to San Angelo. I was happy that I got trained in robotic surgery during my training and could bring some of that back here uh, so that we could offer that to the people of San Angelo and the surrounding areas.